And welcome back to the studio here in Dublin Community Television and uh, thanks to Blades and Eleanor there and all the entertainers on the street. In the studio now I have Rain Booth and uh, she's from the Temple Bar Gallery and Studios. Hello Rain, how are Hi, you? Hello, how are you? You know, when I get, got the job in the studio, I was saying to myself, because it was being pretty cold, that I was, you know, the lads were really envious, but it's pretty nice out there tonight. It's beautiful out there. I just walked down from the gallery, which is just up on Temple Bar Square, and there's so much happening on the streets. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. OK, tell me a little bit about the gallery. Well, we're right on Temple Bar Square, as I said. We're kind of a big white glass building on Temple Bar Square. It's hard to miss, and it's actually been there for 30 years. Um, so founded in 1983 by a group of artists that moved into a disused building in, in a kind of a disused area that was Temple Bar at the time. Mm -hmm. um, kind of claimed the space, uh, set up studios and then about 10 years later, in 1991, the whole of Temple Bar was redeveloped as a cultural quarter and kind of part of the reason that that happened was because there were these kind of communities of artists that were here. Mm -hmm. um, because before that Temple Bar was kind of a no-go area, yes, yeah. very down, kind of run down area, mm -hmm. so um, so yeah, we've got a really long history, obviously 30 years in Temple Bar and of culture in Temple Bar and being kind of here at the very beginning. So, so have I missed the celebrations or are they to come to 30 years? No, it's years? actually next week is the okay. main body of ourselves. We have an exhibition on in the gallery at the moment called False Memory Syndrome, which um, is, we invited four artists to make new artwork around our archive. Mm -hmm. um, which we've showcased then in a book as well. So we've got a book called Generation, 30 Years of Creativity at Temple Bar Gallery and Studios, which tells the story of Temple Bar Gallery and Studios over the last 30 years. Okay. Um, and then next week we have uh, some open studio exhibitions on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, so the public can come in and have a look at our studios and have a look at what goes on. We've got 30 studios and 30 artists that still work in the building. Um, and the gallery, which is always open to public and always free. Anyway. So it's a work area plus a display area all combined? Yeah, so the ground floor is the gallery and okay. we have uh, uh, temporary exhibitions that kind of change every six weeks to eight weeks or, or thereabouts. And then the top three floors are all uh, private artist workspaces. Mm -hmm. and, and just to get the point across, I said it to Ame earlier on that this is, goes on all day, every day, every yeah. week of every month all year round, yeah. just to get people. Not just on Culture Night. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and like I said, you know, the majority of culture in, in Dublin is free, and, and, and especially the visual arts. You can go into most galleries for completely for free any day of the week, so it's not just on Culture Night, and we're really lucky as a city to have that, I think. It's unusual as well with artists because they're quite protective of their work area, aren't they? Well, with us, the studios are not open to the public yeah. all the time, but we do open studios, like tonight we have tours, of yeah. the studios so people could book in and have a look and see every single studio is different, every artist is different, there's painters, sculptors, people that work with video, there's lots of, so many different things going on. Okay. And so. you've, you've had a, quite a flow of people in, especially on nights like tonight over the past yeah. eight years. What sort of numbers are we talking Last about? Last year we had 3,000 people come through the building, so wow. it was incredible. It was a really amazing buzz, everything was brilliant, but it was, um, yeah, it was quite a lot to take on to have 3,000 people come through yeah. in one night. Yeah. It's a great outlet for new artists though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, a lot of people talk about, I mean, you can get the work done, but if you know where to display it. So mm -hmm. if someone is out there and they're an artist, can they come to you and sort of see? Well, the way that we work is, is um, our studios are open submission, so anybody can apply. Every year we have an application mm -hmm. and we publicize that on our website and through things like Visual Artists Ireland um, bulletin and their newspaper and um, you can apply to have a studio with us. Mm -hmm. So like that's open submission. The gallery isn't open submission, it's curated. But mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's different opportunities that come from having a studio and like you meet different artists and curators and people see your work and yeah. that's, you know, kind of how people get their work seen basically. Yeah. I know it's sort of, the place is hard to find because over in the Red Stables in Rohini for instance, there's a couple of artists come from all over the place and they're in resident there. I mm -hmm. think they're allowed six months to a year. Yeah. So it's sort of something like that, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, the main, um, we have some artists that have been with us for, you know, since it began, since 1983. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, a number of studios that you can have for up to three years and then one, one year project studios as well. So yeah. you can apply for three years or for one year. Okay. Yeah. And you were talking there about uh, exhibitions and training going on for three days. What, what is that? Is that to watch artists work or? No, it's sorry, it's an open studio. So we're doing open studios next okay. week on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday so that the public can come in, members of the public can come in, look at the exhibition and then go through upstairs to the studios okay. and just have a look at the studios, have a look at the artist's work in the studios and they're also inviting back um, artists that have 
uh, worked in the studios in the last 30 okay. years. Okay, and that's Rain Booth from the Temple Bar Gallery and Studios, and uh, don't forget to pop in there every day, any day of every week. Uh, come back and join me again in about half an hour, 20 minutes or so, and I'll have live music in studio with the lead singer of Lear.